London was meeting its second blitz as every day 100 to 150 robot bombs fell on southern England. This robot bomb is intercepted and shot down by 9th Air Force P-51s. Reported speeds of 3 to 400 miles an hour made them difficult to catch. The bomb's low flight handicapped anti-aircraft batteries and in bad weather they could not even be seen. Blast effect has been extensive and explosive power is thought to be increasing. One bomb was said to have demolished four square blocks. Fragments of the thin-skinned fuselage of the bomb were found near the crater. As this film was edited, robot bombs had killed at least 3,000 persons, had injured almost 10,000. Real defense against them had yet to be found. Most logical was the attempt to root out sources. The largest rocket launching site yet discovered was captured in the Cherbourg Peninsula. Still unfinished, the main ramp is 700 to 750 feet long, 70 feet wide, and 50 feet thick. At the top, another concrete strip, 300 feet long, 120 feet wide, and 36 feet thick, joins the main platform at right angles. The rich concrete mixture used in the construction of this massive installation was reinforced by lattice-type steel rods, a half-inch thick, woven in squares. On the Cherbourg front, at least 29 sites have been found. Unfinished because of Allied bombings, there appeared to be at least three types of platforms. Two for jet-propelled bombs, the other apparently for rockets. Of concrete and steel construction, most of them were comparatively simple and much smaller than this launcher. Sunk deep underground are large solid concrete structures, doubtless intended as storerooms for shells and equipment. A narrow gauge railroad was apparently used to haul supplies to the concrete mixers and thence to the pouring funnels. Netting laced with metal leaves to prevent fading provided effective camouflage and green coverings hid the concrete bases. The installations were built to withstand heavy bombing. Wide gauge tracks apparently used to bring in the bombs led to the launching platform. The Allies, aware of these robot activities, have already bombed laboratories and sites preventing robot attacks of a heavier scale. But at July's end, the flying robots continued to come. 